close-up of Bernard, seated on a stool in front of a window. So finally, it's kind of like end of recess, right? And I'm wide open, and the kid who's playing the quarterback's like, okay, I'm going to throw it to Ben, right? He throws it to me. I'm able to track it with the vision I had at that time. I catch it, and I run it for a touchdown, and I ended up winning the game for, uh, for the team. So I, every time I just think of that moment, and it just resonates. And from that time, they always pass it to me, and I sometimes caught it in the face. Sometimes I miss the pass totally. Sometimes I'd catch it and do my thing. So just changing everybody's perception of what it is to be visually impaired. We are CNIB, Intersectionality Series. Meet Bernard. I live with retinitis pigmentosa. So it is a progressive eye disease, which affects your peripheral vision as well as your night vision. Right now I do have tunnel vision, so I'm able to see straight forward. I like to refer to the CNIB as a family member because I've been using the CNIB for years. Since being a kid, they came out and taught me how to travel safely as well as live independently. And then as I grew up, I would uh, go to the CNIB for doing my placement when I was in uh, university and college. Intersectionality is so important to me because me being an African Canadian male at the same time as visual impairment, I'm beginning to understand the importance of actually addressing the differences. So my experiences wouldn't be the same as a visually impaired person who isn't racialized or even vice versa. So it's so important to look at the person and look at the person's experiences what I wish people knew about intersectionality is the fact that you can't categorize people as one. You have to look at the experiences, you have to look at what they're going through. The annoying things that people say to me are, oh, can you see my hand waving? How many fingers am I putting up? What do blind people do? Do you leave your house? You live here? Are you on ODSP? Do you work? I never met a blind black guy before. Uh, do you know Stevie Wonder? You're the next Stevie Wonder. The most important thing to me that I can't live without is my cell phone. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Family, friends, just people. People in general, I, I can't live without people. I love everybody's stories. I love where people come from and I just love how us as a human race, we're able to, to overcome adversities in life. I am CNIB. Contact us at CNIB. Email info at cnib.ca or call us toll free 1-800-563-2642. This project was created by the GTA Advocacy Team and funded by a grant from Canadian Heritage.